The year is 1989. The world has come to a tragic end. But on the surface of Earth, a single car survives. A car like none the world has ever seen before. With a whopping one liter engine and producing 51 horsepower and 55 pound-feet of torque, the car traverses the land getting a whopping 79 miles per gallon. With an available 3-speed automatic or 5-speed manual, the owner could have fun, if only it had an owner, because nobody is left. Montu Motors brings to you the Nissan. Pow! Sir, okay. Pow! Are you saying pow? pow? What are you saying? Pow! 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 Why does he keep doing that? What's up everyone? Thank you for watching a Montu Motors video. So if you're following what was going on in the beginning there, today we're going to be talking about the Nissan POW. No, it was not made in a post-apocalyptic world, but it was made at the Nissan Pike factory. And it was made in 1989 as well. So to go over a little bit about what they covered in the beginning, the car had a 1 liter 4 cylinder motor called the MA-10S. It had 51 horsepower and 55 pound feet of torque. So it was a very small, very efficient motor, kind of similar to the Honda Beat we reviewed recently. The POW can also get up to 79 miles per gallon. So it's a very efficient city car and a good alternative to say a Toyota Prius. You don't have all the complex batteries or electronic drive systems. So it's a lot more simple and a lot easier to maintain. There was also a turbo version of the motor that was used in the Nissan Figaro. It has a front wheel drive drivetrain coupled to a three speed automatic or a five-speed manual, while the Nissan Figaro had the three-speed automatic only. The POW also featured rack and pinion steering and independent suspension with struts up front and four links and coil springs in the back. The brake system was a disc brake up front and drum brakes in the rear. Also it had a clamshell hatch, so the glass section would swing up and the bottom portion would swing down to create a tailgate. Can anyone say party time? The roof was also a soft top and could be drawn back electronically to allow for an open air feel. Sadly, we really haven't seen a whole lot of modifications done to the POW other than... Whoa! Whoa trippy intro part! <clears throat> Sorry about that. Anyway, we did manage to find this clip of Best Motoring who actually had a Nissan POW that was modified with an S13 Silvia's drivetrain this sounds pretty crazy because the POW has a very short overall length. So if you were to put a rear wheel drive configuration on this car and a big turbo four cylinder up front, it sounds to me like it'd be really difficult to drift. But check this out. Pretty slick, huh? Just remember, if you decide to buy a POW, you can't just hop in and do that. That car was very heavily modified. And remember too, the POW is front wheel drive. So no drifting. Although you can do reverse donuts. You didn't hear that from me. So we have some footage for you coming up here that was actually used in the Nissan Pike factory, like instructional video for Nissan employees. Uh, many of you will probably think us at Montu here have lost our marbles and we've gone insane. We haven't, like this is legitimate stuff that was used in the footage for the people at Nissan. It doesn't make much sense, but uh, you know, people were probably thinking that we don't really take the POW seriously, but we do. We see the POW as kind of a fun car. People who want an interesting, unique commuter car that just want to have something different or more fun or be unique in a certain way. And we're totally cool with that. The POW is not really going to be a car that you take to the car show and show everyone else up unless you design it like that one with the Sylvia motor. But as an everyday car, the POW actually does a really good job of just getting you from A to B and being pretty darn cool about it. Was 
しがらしでやらないと解いてくれてる。Uh, okay, so this is like that Zoltan dude. I want to be big. Now we got this lady who's like crying about it.、Uh, oh, now they're playing volleyball with the gunshots and explosions. Hey, maybe it was post apocalyptic. This is actual footage again, guys. Like, we had to show somebody this. Oh, look, they're all cheering. Maybe for the POW? Maybe? But, like, what does this have to do about the POW? Like, these guys, are they angry? Like, are they gonna riot about the POW? Like, it's so awesome. Oh, volleyball game, possibly. They climb over the net. This is just bizarre. Like, if anybody knows Japanese and can, like, tell us what this is, that would be, like, greatly appreciated because this is, like, really trippy and weird. And I couldn't imagine, like, an Amer American, like, Promotional video having this look. Is this a dude like in a skirt cheerleading? And they're all happy. Yay! The POW, possibly. So, yeah. Anyway, if anybody sat through all that, we appreciate you guys watching this video. And, uh, yeah, if you want to buy a POW, you can always check us out at montumotors.com. Maybe that's what all this stuff was subliminal messaging to make you buy the POW. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. It's insane power. I would definitely recommend Monty Motors. And I would definitely go through Monty Motors again and again. Registration, insurance, all that stuff. But at the end of the day, they took care of every fear you could possibly have. They'll be able to answer it right on the spot. That was a ridiculously simple process for getting a JDM car. I couldn't be happier with my purchase from Monty Motors.